Well, happy Tuesday, everybody. Um, not gonna lie, today I am struggling a bit. Um, it's, I don't know, I've been kind of struggling since last night. Uh, kind of, like, I don't know. It's just a lot, I woke up with just a lot of anxiety this morning. Um, and so I was like, I really, really need to do my gratitude today. And my hair is like ridiculous too. I need a haircut. It's besides the point. But you know when you just have like those days where you're already in like a crappy mood and then like every little thing just kind of drives you bonkers. That's, that's where I'm at today. Uh, but hey, I like to make sure you all can relate and you're not alone, so there's that. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I've been crying all morning since last night. Um, yeah, cat broke some more glass and ironically it was um, one of the jars we got from Tunadito, which is the grief support group we would go to um, when we were allowed. They do Zooms now, but it's, it's just harder to get on those. Um, um, yeah, and so it was actually called the good things jar where you put like good things in it and when you're sad, you're supposed to look at it. And so it was kind of ironic that it broke yesterday. Um, well, the cat knocked it off the counter. Um, that's now like the second sentimental thing that the cat has broken. Um, the first one was a wine bottle, um, that my friend Brett gave me. It was his first habanero chili wine. It was delicious wine. It was like autographed and stuff, but oh well. It is what it is. We can't cry over broken glass unless you step in it or it cuts you. Then you can cry. Um, but I have the memories of each of those items. So that's what I try to hold on to. Try not to, as Brian used to say, can't sweat the small stuff because it's all small stuff. And I try really hard to hold on to that. Um, I'm very emotional, so I will most likely cry in this video. Because it's just one of those days. Um, but before I lose my ish and crying, uh, I'm gonna do my gratitude, which will probably then make me cry more. Minnie, you really don't need a treat. She, she scratches on my water heater thing in order to get my attention to get a treat. Um, okay, so number one, I am so thankful for bad days because they help me hold on to the good ones. And I actually feel as if there are really no bad days. There are just bad things that happen in a good day. Um, so probably should have rewrote that a little better, but I mean, and some days there are just really, really bad days. Um, when I was a kid, that, that was very often. Um, number two, I am thankful that with all the glass that has been broken in the last couple weeks, no one has been hurt. So there is a blessing there because uh, there was a lot of glass. Um, I think I did get a little bit in my thumb last night when I was cleaning it up, but I don't feel it now. And I think I got most of it off the floor. Um, I actually stepped on a piece from the wine bottle that was broken. Um, but it was like sharp side down and it would have really messed my foot up if it would have been flipped over. So I was like, that was a close one. Um, number three, I'm grateful for my creative mind because I can help people turn their ideas into a reality. I love being able to, oh, these two make me crazy. Um, I love being able to help. Like on Friday, I was able to make a really cool retirement basket for, um, someone that worked for us for like nine years and... That was really cool and then probably gonna help another person was something that he was interested in trying to help figure out and i just 
I love being able to help people, not just with like inspire them, but be creative and help them help other people smile. Like I love seeing people happy. I really do. <sighs> That's one of my biggest things that keeps me going every day is helping others smile. Even on the days I'm not. <laughs> I still send a text to make sure like they're okay and Yeah, it's just, you know, I just want to make sure everybody's good and healthy and we're not all happy, but functional and alive. And if I can be the reason someone smiles in a day, then it'll be okay. And I'll pick myself back up later. Um, number four, I am grateful for music because it helps quiet the mind. I've been just zoning out to music. Usually I'll listen to like an audiobook um, to challenge my brain, but lately I've literally been needing to turn my brain off. Um, I thought the one year mark, I would cry less. <laughs> Honestly, I think I've cried so much more than I have in the whole month of August um, in the last few days. And I don't know why. Um, I feel like I can finally breathe again, but now, well, this will go into my last one, my last gratitude, and I'll explain. So number five, I am thankful I, fi I can find the courage to let go of fear because I want to not be afraid of rebuilding my life and not being hurt again. Um... The biggest thing that I think the reason I'm crying so much lately is because I feel like I'm in limbo. I want to rebuild my life. But at the same time, I'm terrified of having my heart broken again. Because this last year, my heart was broken a lot. Not just like, like Brian dying. I lost friendships. Um... <laughs> Uh, had a boyfriend for like three months, but we stayed friends. We just should not have dated. Um, <laughs> but he's my best friend now. Um, oh my God, this hair is ridiculous. Sorry, but I am terrified of being hurt and letting my heart open again. And I know in order to rebuild my life, I need to let go of fear. I need to, you really don't need to treat Minnie. She wants a treat. She has plenty of food, just so y'all know. Um, but fear, my cousin, um, inappropriate older sibling, uh, aka also Shelly, uh, in her daily vibe, she talked about fear and letting go like her and I are always like spot on because I was talking to myself about fear and that stuff this morning and I I'm scared I am terrified I'm terrified of pain because I really don't know how much more pain I can handle. But I know in order to grow, you experience pain. And everything that hurts you makes you stronger because you survive it. And I know every single one of us, we are just fighting every day to survive. And I know it hurts. I know it sucks. But I know we can all do it. And so I really want to focus on letting go of fear. And maybe you guys will do that today too. 
work on whatever is holding you back. Find something you're afraid of and work through it. Because none of us are going to get to where we want to go if we're afraid to take the next step. Um, so I think that should be our goal today is find something and then work on it for the whole week. Um, and you know, we can all do this together. We can all conquer our fears as one big team. So happy Tuesday. And I'm going to go give this little nugget a treat because she won't stop. So have a great Tuesday guys.